This is a basic demonstration of a water jet cutting machine in action. If you watch closely, we're cutting through an aluminum sheet to produce multiple parts. Notice how the jet turns on and off. The nozzle is the metal part where the water flows through. When the stream of water is expelled through the nozzle, it is at a rate of 50,000 psi, which is an extremely high pressure. The water is then mixed with abrasive particles to cut the sheet material into multiple shapes. As shown here, we are just making two parts of a hundred part run to show you the cutting process. These are what the parts look like after they are cut. As the parts are being cut, the computer system will show a detailed map tracing the part so the operator can follow the process to be in sync with the computer. The purple lines indicate cut lines and the green lines are called traverses. Traverses are where the head moves without cutting so it can jump, typically from a cutout to an outer contour or between one cutout and another cutout or between holes. You'll also notice that the movement slows as it comes to the corners. This is so the computer can automatically figure out the best way to move the jet to make a perfect part. In this case, we are cutting the second part of the outer contour, and then we proceed to the traverse. In order for water to cut through metal one inch thick, the water must be mixed with an abrasive as shown. The water abrasive mixture proceeds down through a tube, which is not shown in this video, onto the cutting head. The high pressure is created by a sophisticated pumping system that generates about 50 to 60,000 psi. The tube on the right stores that high pressure water as it's ready to go into the cutting head.